Hi Virgos, thank you for viewing me today. My name is Elena. This is Searchlight Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for viewing me. I am doing a general reading for you. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. I'll be looking at the crossing energies and then what is rolling in in the next few weeks. We are in a Mercury retrograde, so it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride. But let's see what we got going on. This is good for all placements for the sign of Virgo. It is general, so energies can be moved around. Okay, Spirit Guides, one or two cards for the strongest energies around the sign of Virgo, please. One or two cards. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Who's over here? What's going on, Virgos? Pardon me. I had reminder. No, it just says don't forget in the center of it. Reminder. Hmm. I have a uh, high priestess of earth. No coincidence there. I have grove. Wow. I'm feeling something here and this is what I want to do. I have hope. I have cycles. Here we go, Mercury retrograde. And I have High Priestess of Air. Wow. Literally, like the way the cards went down, the High Priestess of Earth is right above the High Priestess of Air. I feel that right now, in the strongest energies around you, is you're very grounded, but your mind is taking off somewhere to do with your intuition. Um. You know, your thoughts is going round and round and round. That's why we have reminder. But you're staying very grounded. I mean, I have the high priestess of earth. I have grove. And I feel that right now you're staying grounded. Um, two feet on the ground about a situation. I have hope. And I have cycles. You know, hope is about something to come to a new cycle. Because then I have the high priestess of air rolling in. And we are in a Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. And air is Aquarius, but I feel that right now with what we're going into is that you're literally knowing that there's going to be another roundabout of a cycle coming in here. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through, Virgos. Sounds like your situation. This is your reading. Spirit guides. For my beautiful Virgos. Tell me something they've recently been through that this reading is for. For the sign of Virgos, please. Something they've recently been through. Thank you. What do you want to show me? For the sign of Virgos, please. Something they've recently been through for the sign of Virgos. What else do you want to show me? For the sign of Virgos. Okay, what else do you want to tell me? You have a lot to say, Virgos, and you had a lot of oracles. I only need you to get one or two. Hmm. Well, you know the bottom of the deck, if you're one of my regulars, and thank you for your support, is my strongest energies. I shuffle a lot off camera. So when I feel the cards are ready, that's when I begin, but I do have the tower. Crisis, rude awakenings recently in the past, is something that you thought was on a firm foundation came tumbling down. I have the Eight of Pentacles, and then I have big Taurus energy showing up the Hierophant, and then I have Virgo. And I really, really feel that you are recently in the past, Taurus here, Major Arcana, um, that you are working on getting to a higher belief, a higher commitment. You know, you're really trying to find your answers. And, and that's what I feel. And that's why Grove is here. You know, um, I think you're in this earthy energy of in a grove. It's just like you're just withdrawn, trying to find peace with something. Hmm. I have Capricorn showing up, the devil. Something you felt chained to. Uh, the devil is a card of feeling chained to something out of lust, carnal desires money i have the six of pentacles in reverse recently in the past you know it's telling me that uh, you didn't receive anything all you got was chained up in a situation that was not healthy for you 
something you've recently been through. Have the Three of Swords. It broke your heart, Virgos. That's what you're reading. It's your reader. Because right next to that, I have the Five of Cups. You know, being very sad about a situation that has broken your heart from something that was a very unhealthy one at that, or you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel that you did not receive from in the right way. That's what I feel. I have the Three of Wands in reverse in front of me. This is about, uh, you know, Three of Wands upright is about waiting for that ship to come towards you in reverse. I feel that nothing has been coming towards you and I feel you're very withdrawn right now. The tower keeps staring at me and here you are. It's like you've had a crisis recently in the past, but you have the Hierophant here. You know there's something better out there for you. You know, I just, I'm looking at all these oracles and it's all making sense now, you know, um, cycles. Mm. I have the Page of Swords in reverse. You know, it's air energy, but recently in the past, it's like, I feel like you tried to totally cut something out of your life. Just eager energy, like, I'm done. No, uh-uh. That's what I felt. The Page of Swords is a card of spying, you know, eager new way of thinking, but I just feel something here and I don't know why. Okay, just go with me if it's resonating. I do have the world, cycles, completion of a cycle because you're about to start a new one. My energy start to roll in. You know, it's the world. I, I just feel like with the page of swords in reverse, it's like you're not having a new way of thinking about something because I feel you're cutting something out. With the world here, it's a completion of a cycle because you want to start something new. You're about to start something new. That's a major arcana. Because here she is, the almighty empress, Virgo. <laughs> the beautiful energy of earth you know uh giving birth to new ideas planting seeds because you're harvesting them later a very nurturing energy and i have it with the ace of pentacles and i have it with the knight of wands the knight of wands is fire energy but that's the hot pony of the tarot that's the charismatic Knight of Wands that's pretty hard to say no to. So either you have a golden opportunity coming in from a fire sign, a Knight of Wands type, kind of has a player edge to it, or you're determined to go after a solid new golden opportunity because that Knight of Wands doesn't back down. That Knight of Wands is all about getting what it wants. That's its mission. And it looks like you're after a new, solid, brand new golden opportunity because right above that, I have the Empress and I have the world telling me that you finished a cycle here. You know, it's something you're about to go into something new here. And I have the High Priestess of Air and the High Priestess of Earth in your current energies. It's like you're shifting into this higher realm. But I'm going to look at the opposing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spirit guides, crossing energies for the sign of Virgo. If you are not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box to roll into the incoming. Spirit guides, the crossing energies for the sign of Virgos. What do you want to tell me? <laughs> crossing energies, please, for the sign of Virgo. Hmm. Some of the crossing energies my Virgos have been dealing with. Thank you. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Thank you. Anything else? Crossing energies for the sign of Virgo. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Done. That's what they did. They're done. They stop. It's like literally stop. Well, Virgos, under their deck, I have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the Knight of on a mission of communication from somebody who walked away from something here, the Eight of Cups. It's somebody who walked away. I think it was you. Or maybe it's communication about them because they walk, but it's becoming a huge weight. Like they know they need to talk to you. They know they need to talk to you. I have it with the Queen of Cups. And then I have big Taurus energy showing up, the King of Pentacles, staying grounded, practical, earthy, with the Queen of Love because they've been taking a big time out and they want to offer you a passionate brand new beginning or they're thinking about 
how to get a passionate brand new beginning. To my left, I have the Nine of Wands, Protection Mode, with the Seven of Cups, and Judgment. <laughs> judgment, my major arcana with these three cards. So, Seven of Cups, looking at the choices they've made with their Cups of Love. Not sure which one to choose, and they're in full-on Protection Mode. Nine of Wands being wounded about something. Hmm. I have the High Priestess. Here it is. With a golden opportunity. I think you have that right here with the Knight of Wands, Virgo. <laughs> They're using their intuition when to give you this brand new opportunity, Virgos. Right here. They're wounded. They're very wounded, but I think they know that there's no better cup in there than the one they had. I don't know what happened here. Uh-oh. I have the hangman in reverse coming out of being unstuck. I have it with the three of wands because they can't stop thinking about this connection, the six of cups. Right there. Mm -hmm. My cards don't lie. Three of wands. It's somebody who's been at a distance. I think you have. Six of cups. They cannot get this connection out of their mind. It, it's that, that connection that... <sighs> It's one in a million. Okay, one in 500,000. <laughs> the Hangman in Reverse, they want to come out of being unstuck. Last card is I have, but they aren't going to let you know. I have the moon. <laughs> they're trying to figure out how to, uh, how to get something going here. You know, they're having a lot of nostalgia. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you hear, here it is right here, I was going to say, if you hear communication soon. Mm -hmm. And then we're all into the incoming for you. Just a quick water break. Okay. All right. Incoming energies for the sign of Virgo. Spirit guides incoming for the next few weeks for the beautiful sign of Virgo. One quick shuffle. Tell me about the incoming. For the sign of Virgo, please, spirit guides. One or two cards. What do you want to show me about the strongest incoming energies? Thank you. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you. Oh, they gave you two more cards. All right. I put my readers on glass. My eyes have been really blurry lately. I think it's just age. I have the Eight of Swords. Uh, this is getting out of the cage of thought. I have the emperor. This is the king, the emperor of controlling the situations around you for success and victory. And then they gave me strength. Uh, incoming energies, I feel that you're gonna be coming out of this. The cage on this card is literally the top is, is open. You can get out. You can get out with a lot of strength and courage and take charge of a situation. Take charge of your life. Take charge of you. Or you got an Aries rolling in. <laughs> or a Leo. <clears throat> or maybe you're getting caught in your head in the incoming energies about having strength about someone who's trying to control you. But, you know, Mercury retrograde just brings back a lot of nostalgia, a lot of people from the past for redo so we can get it right. Because literally the way I'm looking at this, the Knight of Communications is looking at the Emperor with the Eight of Swords and strength. Like that Knight of Swords knows they need to talk to you. And with the Six of Cups right below that, it's like this beautiful, amazing connection. They know it, but they're not going to reveal it. Like I feel they might reach out or do something just to get your attention. They're going to do something just to get your attention. Virgos is like over here. Wait, where is it? Virgos is like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, mm, the Empress. <laughs> Spirit guides, tell me about the incoming energies. You know, the strength and the emperor are the two major arcanas on each side of that eight of swords to me. And strength and courage to conquer whatever it is and to get out of that cage. One more shuffle. Incoming energies from my beautiful Virgos. Maybe the communication will make you come out of your cage. Let's see what they want to say. Incoming for the sign of Virgos, please. 
Did I have a flipper? I sure did. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Earth on a mission. I'm sorry, one more shuffle. Uh, that Knight of Earth is you on a mission of your stability. What's going to be best for you? Spirit Guides incoming. Thank you. Who for the sign of Virgo. What do you want to show me, please, for the incoming energies for the sign of Virgo? What else do you want to tell me? What's coming towards my Virgos? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the next few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. I think, uh, yeah, we got a connection here. Um, the Eight of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Virgos. Your thoughts are creating a burden for you. Conquer it. Have strength because they also gave me the world. It is a completion of a cycle. You are rolling into a new one. First card to my left is I have the five of swords in reverse. It's about someone having remorse about something that has been said. I have the ten of swords. And then I have the three of pentacles. Someone has a lot of remorse about something that has come to a completion. And I feel because they sense you're walking away. You're walking into the light. And with the three of pentacles here, this is about working with someone else to give the triangle of stability. And that knight of swords is just staring at me with that six cups. I have temperance showing up. Sagittarius, you will be very patient in the incoming energies because you're going to need to be because you have strength as well. And the, the energy is up. I do. I'm sorry. I just ramble. I have the seven of cups in reverse coming out of being in this indecisive state. <laughs> well, I know I got to choose one. I remember that last cup I chose, you know, it, uh, and then I have the ace of cups, a new opportunity of love for those. A brand new opportunity of love because I have the seven of cups in reverse and then I have the ace of cups and then the next card out is I have the fool zero major arcana about taking a new leap of faith going off in a new direction starting over and then I have it with the king of cups in reverse last card out king of cups in reverse is I almost feel as if I have some stubborn energy here you know, I told you someone's going to be hiding about the way they feel. And I have the King of Cups in reverse, hiding about the way they feel. No coincidence. This is going to resonate very different for everyone. It's, I always feel I have strong messages for certain people. You know, the fool with the King of Cups in reverse, it's someone who's hiding about the way they feel. But you are taking a new leap of faith. I have the Ace of Cups. I have the completion of a cycle. I have the emperor. I have you being chained by your thoughts. Double confirmation. And then I have strength showing up. Big old strength. And then right next to that, I don't know how that card got there, but it's just popped out. It's like from having a broken heart. Something that has broken your heart. I feel it's a completion. You're about to go on a new journey. And I feel that you have a new opportunity with love from someone who's hiding exactly how they're feeling. But I'm going to get one or two messages for my beautiful Virgos <laughs> from the Power Tarot cards. Spirit guides, one or two messages about the reading today. It always ties it together. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Spirit guides, one or two messages for the sign of Virgo, please. About the reading today, what do you want to tell my beautiful Virgos? What else do you want to tell my Virgos out there, please? One or two more messages? One more? Anything else for the sign of Virgo? All right. The first card they gave me is the six of Ariel. I got two cards right here. I got a six and then I got an eight. Right here, Virgos. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. That is the Empress to me. I'm just that energy of the Empress. I feel you have attracted something your way. 
I, I just feel it. And then I have the eight, the eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you, Virgos. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. Bottom line, do what is right for you. You know, with the Seven of Cups, it's, that's what it's all about. You know, I have the Fool walking away and then the King of Cups in reverse. I feel that it's something that um, you're taking a new leap of faith with that you walked away from. You know, and the King of Cups in reverse and then they had the Moon. I feel either you're hiding away your feeling or somebody else is. I'm going to be with that. Anyway, thank you for viewing me today, Virgos. If it resonated and you liked it, please remember to like, subscribe, comment if you like. Thank you. Thank you, Virgos, for supporting my channel. I am truly grateful. I wish everyone many blessings and have a great day. Thank you.